Here we have three fruits from a previous lecture. I've omitted the watermelon just to keep things a little more simple. As we explore the radial repeat function, with the selection tool, I'm going to tap and drag out across all objects. I'm going to tap to open the repeat panel and I'm going to tap radial. So Illustrator has defined a central axis from which the objects can be added, subtracted, and most importantly, rearranged by means of the functions which I'll go on to explain. Covering the basics first with the selection tool selected and the pattern selected, we can tap and we can move it. We can also increase its size by tapping on any one of the corners and dragging out. So now for the radial specific functions, on the right hand side we have an up and down arrow icon. If we tap upon this, dragging downwards, it decreases the number of instances. So we can whittle down to the original one set of three. Going up, we increase the number of instances and therefore the pattern becomes more complex. And we can keep on going. If we reach the top here, we can let go and we can keep on going up again to the limit, which is 100. So we have a kind of mandala effect. So going back down to something more manageable, we'll explore the next option, which is the small white circle. And this adjusts the scatter. So as you'll see, the order of those objects changes. So the bananas are central. Now they're in the middle. And there's different positions for each object depending on where I hold the Apple Pencil. And not only that, there are different effects for the scatter in accordance with the number of instances. So if I increase the number of instances and then use the scatter control again, we get a different kind of effect. Increasing once more, adjusting the scatter. Simplifying again, bringing the number of instances down. We have two arrows in the central circle. If we tap and drag out, this rids of part of the path. Let's increase the number of instances so this becomes more apparent. So let's do the same again. You'll see that Illustrator is reducing the number of instances in the particular position of the circle, whilst the scatter remains the same. So as fun as they are, let's put abstract patterns aside and focus on practicality. To serve as an example, with a bit of thought and slight adjustment, we can make a graphic which might be suitable as a symbol for a logo design. The radial pattern must first be expanded with the object panel, tapping expand, which makes it no longer subject to the radial function's editability. This is now final. We might rotate the graphic so that it forms an arc, add some text for company name and tagline, select a suitable font, add some colour and centre all the objects to make a perfectly feasible logo design. Of course, the creative possibilities are endless. So try out the radial repeat function to develop some unique art of your very own.